Okay, so today we are here with Shane Hoffman, and Shane is a new home buyer. So we're going to be asking Shane some questions about what your experience was as a new home buyer your first time. Sounds great. Tell us what you thought leading up to even wanting to buy a house. What brought you to that point? Well, renting is getting really expensive in town, and I did the math, and it would be much cheaper long term to actually buy my own home than to, to keep renting. Uh, and it was just, it was time. It was time to, uh, to explore the adventures of home buying. And taking that leap of faith. So tell me, how long do you think you're going to keep this house, the first house that you just bought? I mean, ideally I'm going to keep it for at least three to five years. Um, obviously Stillwater is a great place to, to rent as well. Um, if, if I decide to go that route, but either way, it was something that I was looking to do for probably another three to five years. Yes, that's great. Normally, you need to own a home for five years to make any profit on it. Yeah. So I would recommend five years. However, I'm always here for you. Exactly. So <laughs> if you decide in three years you want to do something with it, just give me a call. Exactly. Okay, so um, tell us a little bit about the process of finding a home. We started um, early spring, yeah. and we went to look at our first home. And now you take it from there and tell us how that experience was. Well, you, it's sort of like dating you think you find something that's really attractive and then you get a little bit further into the process and realize oh this doesn't look like I thought it would or you fall in love and you realize that she's taken <laughs> that's a good analogy <laughs> which happened about five times so it was like the bachelor of homes yeah. that's hilarious that's really a good analogy so then we finally on the sixth yeah. Offer. You, you, made, you made five offers on five of their homes, and then the sixth one really was your favorite, wasn't it? Yeah, it was. It was the no doubter, and the uh, we just we had a perfect uh, combination of amazing sellers, uh, the right price, the right location, and um, but Sadie made it all as easy as possible, and she stuck with me for six oh, homes you. for three months. Um, like I said, there are, there are people who I don't think my family would stick with me for three months. <laughs> So she's the real deal. Absolutely. Well, thank you so much. I really appreciate that. And, you know, it was a pleasure working with you. You were Absolutely. awesome. And you know what? I have to say, one of the things that was so nice about working with you is that you rolled with the flow. I know when we lost the first house, then you, you thought that was the one. Yeah. And in retrospect, we look back and we're like, thank oh, goodness thank you, you lost that. But but at the time, you were very upset. Yeah, sure. You know? But you got over it quickly, and you moved on, and then you sort of started understanding the process, and we just went from A to Z, and eventually found you the perfect house, so, and you're very happy there now. You've been in the house Very for, happy, yeah, for about two months. Yeah, a couple and, months now. And Great neighborhood, close to university. Yeah, no yeah. no complaints. But my advice to any future home buyer, do your research, but also realize there's a lot of people looking at the same houses that you are. And so, have options, and if it doesn't work out, God will have an even better home in store for you. The key is to not get so dejected that you just stop looking because um, you deserve to be a home buyer, whoever's watching this. <laughs> Thank you for saying that, and I agree 100% that uh, that you know patience is a virtue, and um, I've never known anyone that really was sad for a long period of time over the houses that they didn't get. They yeah. were just ended up being very happy about the houses that they did get. So. That's good. All right, so then we go into the negotiations, and we had some interesting <laughs> negotiations, didn't we? Interesting, and, to say the least. Yeah, so tell us a little bit about some of the negotiations that we have. Well, you try to hope that people will be ethical. Sometimes uh, your idea of ethics are different than theirs. Um, but we, we thought we had an, a full price offer that went down and that was very competitive, and they turned around and said, we want that plus closing costs. Yeah. And so that's my other piece of advice is you know how much you're willing to pay, and if they're not willing to budge, chances are uh, you need to move on. But, yeah, negotiation is a huge part, and, and the house I ended up getting, they actually threw in quite a bit of furniture, and most importantly, they were just professional and upfront throughout the entire process. And that's as important as anything because you want to make sure you're moving into a home that's been loved and cared for in the right way. Ooh, that's a really good point, too, and I, I love that idea. And also... Um, the home warranty. Now, that was a, I encouraged you to so get your home warranty. here's the deal. I purchased the home warranty, and then two weeks into living there, the, the dryer just won't turn on. Oh, dear. It just, 
it's dead. So um, in the next couple weeks, because I have a home warranty, I can call someone to come in, and if that dryer really is dead, I can get a new one. Um, so even though it was stressful at the time, it was a whole lot less stressful than if I didn't have that home warranty. Okay, so that's, that's the best decision you can make because as, as great as the home seems, you know Murphy's Law is still in effect it's true. every day. Yes, yes. Okay, and so then um, we went on into the closing process, and I went with you okay. to, the, to the closing company that we used. And tell me about that. How, how was that? It was stress-free. It was very easy. I mean, you're going to sign a million forms no matter what company you go with. But, uh, yeah, everybody was up front. There was uh, – uh, you could tell people cared – and were excited about you owning a home. They weren't just going through the motions. And, and that's part of the process, too, is you want to be excited, but you also want the people around you to be excited. And I think it's tempting when you work with so many people to kind of just say, oh, well, they're another homeowner. But in life, you want to be treated like an individual, and Sadie does a great job of that. Thank you. So another uh, brownie point special for you. <laughs> Thank you very much. I yeah. appreciate that. So any final thoughts that you might uh – have for any new home buyers or, or people that haven't bought a home in a long, long time? Well, first and foremost, um, I'm only going to go with Sadie from now on, and I wouldn't just say that. I truly am. But uh, besides the obvious, <laughs> uh, be excited, but know that um, the worst thing you can do is, is rush it. Uh, it's much better to take your time to know your finances, to calculate that payment, and, and to realize that this is a big, important life step and it should be made with caution, but also excitement. You know, I want to add to that a little bit because you chose a superb banker. Oh, yeah. Who is one of my favorites, by the way. So I was thrilled that he was working with a banker. And if you're not working with a banker, I'm more than happy to help you choose one yeah, um, absolutely. in the area because he also came to the closing. He was there through the entire process. He and I had many, many communications over getting this deal to go through. Oh, yeah. So, um, yeah, exactly. And that's it's so important to work with, with ethical bankers as yes, well. Yes, yes. So, thank you so much, Shane. I really appreciate you coming and doing this. And good luck to whoever is watching this. I think uh, you're in an exciting part in life, and I wish you the best of luck. And she really is uh, the best, and there really is no comparison to Sadie Harrison. <laughs> thank you for remembering that. Yeah. <laughs>